Hey guys, Tizia and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing a story time where I tell you guys how I managed to fail my driving test 8 times. Now, I know most people pass on their second or even third but you know, your girl got to be different so I went and did it 8 times. I think I actually had to do my theory test twice because the first one expired. Because I think after you've done it you get like 2 years to sit your practical and I just kept failing it. So I had to do my theory test again. The most annoying thing is that when you do your driving test, you have to pay for the test and then you have to pay for the instructor because technically that counts as a lesson. And it's normally two lessons because there's a bit where he meets you and runs through some things and then he takes you to the test center and then he has to bring you back home. So yeah, that was really, really not fun for my wallet. And at the end, I was just sick of it. I think I gave myself a limit of 10 times and if I hadn't passed by the 10th go, I was just going to accept that I am meant for the streets and not a merc. But anyway, before we get started, don't forget to get your cup of tea to have with Tez and let's jump right in. So the first time I failed because I stalled on a hill and then I rolled backwards. I don't like hills. But yeah, that's how I failed my first test and I just looked at the examiner I was like, you know what? You are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. I deserve that fail and I'll take it, take the L and move on. So the second one was mad because I was in the car with the examiner and he had the worst breath in the world. It stunk like rotten egg and sulfur and rotten disgustingness and we had to have the windows up because it was raining outside and I opened the windows because I was like I'm either going to faint because of the smell or I'm going to have to open the window so I opened it and then he said I had to close the window because it was raining and I said well I needed fresh air and then it, he was like okay fine so then I think he wrote something down and then he kept talking like he was making chit chat and from the first one they didn't make chit chat so I was like why is he talking to me clearly this is not essential so I said do you mind like not talking to me so much I'm trying to concentrate on the road like I'm really nervous and you're talking and you have bad breath obviously I didn't mention that and then he was like, oh, well, um, how are you going to cope in the car when you have passengers if you can't drive with me talking? And I said, well, first of all, you don't know my life story. Like, who's telling you that I'm going to be having people in my car? In my car? Messing it up? Touching it? Eating in it? No. My car is for me. I'm joking. I'm not really like that. Um, yeah, so I failed because he said that he didn't feel that I would be safe to have passengers in the car. Like, how is that a reason? How is that a reason? I don't know. But the third time was because I had the same guy who had the bad breath again and I just thought, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it again. I'll take the fail. So yeah, I think we got into the car because I was thinking, shall I just cancel it? Shall I just cancel it? I was like, do you know what? No, don't do it. Don't do it. And then he got in the car, started talking and I could smell the breath and I was like, you know what, I feel really ill, I've got a migraine coming on, I can't do this test, so I just took the L. The fourth time was because I had 16 minors. I feel like I've never heard of someone fail their exam because they had 16 minors. I think you're allowed 15 minors and you'll still pass your test and I went and got 16, so I failed the test. But at this point I was just like, you know what, We'll get them next time, won't we? So the fifth time I failed because I mounted the curb while parallel parking. Now, I can't park without sensors and the car had no sensors. So I had to park the car and even though I practiced lots of times, it's never the same when you do it in the test. So I fully mounted the curb, like the whole wheel was on the curb and obviously that's a serious fault because a child couldn't have been coming or whatever. So I failed that. and. Even till this day, I still can't park. Like I remember um, when I got my first car and I was trying to parallel park somewhere and I couldn't do it and I was there for 10 minutes and this guy actually knocked on my window and he was like, do you want me to park for you because you're just sat here burning fuel? So I had a stranger park my car for me because I can't park. In hindsight, he could have stolen my car and I would have been screwed, but you know, 
I trust people. The sixth one might shock people who are over the age of 18 or my mum who was driven because I failed for driving 20 in a 40 road. Yes, I was driving too slow and somebody overtook me. I can promise you I don't drive too slow now. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I drive at the speed limit, which I think it's a minimum. So if it says 70, that means you have to go at least 90. And if you take this seriously, then... I... But yeah, I felt because I was driving too slow. <laughs> Which is funny because the way I drive now, I, obviously you can't explain it. It is, it is what it is. How life turns around, okay? So test number seven, I failed because I was driving too fast as I approached a roundabout so I didn't re reduce my speed, I didn't change my gear but I could see that there was no car coming like it was a clear path from the right there wasn't a car coming so it was fine for me to keep going in fact it would have been more dangerous for me to slow down because what am I slowing down for? A roundabout by itself is not a hazard it's the potential for a hazard so I was driving and then the guy slammed on the brakes took the wheel and then like maneuvered it and then because of that he was like parked somewhere safe and then I parked and then my man got out of the car and walked 20 minutes back to the test centre because he said I was an unsafe driver and a danger on the road like just slow down Paul it's not that deep okay like Lots of people drive at roundabouts at that speed. I was doing fine. There was nobody coming. That one hurt me the most because how am I failing one test for driving too slow and then failing the one after that for driving too fast? Make it make sense. Please. And then the grand finale. I failed my test because I didn't pass the sight thingy. So do you know before you start your exam, they make you read a number plate and I couldn't read it from the distance without glasses and at that point I didn't wear glasses because I thought I had 20-20 vision but clearly not and then I failed my test so yeah that was that and I, I wanted to blame my instructor but to be fair when we started he did the sight test and I think we did it the first three or four times and then at that point it was just like well, why are we doing this? I've never failed it before. But yeah, it took me so long from when I started my lessons to when I actually passed that I needed glasses. So yeah, I failed because I couldn't read the number plate. Which worries me because it means I've been doing all those lessons and not seeing things clearly and not even realising. But yeah, I wear contacts now so it's fine. I literally only started wearing contacts last week. I've only ever worn them three times and I'm acting all bougie like I wear contacts all the time. Hey! Chineke. And then finally, I passed my test with only two minors and a drive like my dad owns the road because I deserve it and I know that's right. I know that's right! <laughs> Moving on to book of the video which is Ghosts by Dolly Alderton. Now I'm only recommending this book because it is an easy read and you don't need too many brain cells to read it and I like the ending in the sense that it's not always fairy tales and roses. However, uh, I don't know. It's like a three and a half, maybe four on a good day, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, it's one of those books. And I hope you like it. And if you read it, let me know what you think in the comments. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if there's any type of video you want to see or if you have any questions. And until next time, stay bougie.